I was a few years into my journey when I realised that I was looking in all the wrong places to find my art style. The advice I was getting was, you need to draw every day or give it time and your art will evolve by itself. But that's not entirely true. If you want to go from this to this, you need to actively encourage change and buying brushes, more software and watching videos is not going to help you if you don't know how to apply them. Before we get started, what is an art style? Think of it like a fingerprint that artists leave behind to make their work recognisable. It could be the way the artist composes their work, the palette that they use, the brushwork. Your style can be as obvious or as subtle as you want. Sometimes art styles change not just as you get older, but also through experiences that you've had during your life. For me, I went through a cartoon phase when I was younger, but as soon as the first Iron Man movie came out, I started working on mini comic strips. Finding your art style and evolving it is the most exciting part. Embracing the journey is the only way to get yourself to that end goal. So, are you ready to find yours? Let's go. Step one, find three artists. It doesn't matter what their style is, just find three people who motivate you and encourage you to be better artists. Or just find people whose art you really like and enjoy the look of. Step two, pick one drawing from each artist and then pick something from each that you like. This could be the colour palette, lack of line art, the way they render hair, use textures, convey emotion. Just pick something from each. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Unless you want to maintain consistency in your art style. Sorry Einstein. No, this doesn't mean to draw every day, because for most people that's impossible. But every time you do draw, try to ensure your drawings maintain the same level of style or tone. This will help you to build muscle memory until eventually drawing in your style will start to become second nature. Be prepared to learn, unlearn and relearn. This sounds confusing, but believe it or not, this is the most simple and overlooked tip that you need to know. Learning a new tool or technique for the first time is fine, until that method is no longer functional to your art progress. This could mean that the technology is outdated, or you've switched mediums, or even if the brand of your favourite art supplies becomes discontinued. So what do you do? Do you completely abandon everything you know and start from scratch? Or do you relearn the tools you already have and use it for something that was outside the scope of its original purpose? Let me give you an example. Highlighter pens are not meant for adding colour to your drawing. They're often used in note taking, but try them out for size and see what happens. Use them to fulfil a task outside the scope of its original purpose. Do the exact same thing with your art style. If something working well for one drawing but not for another, see how you can use everything you already know to better something else. And if you're stuck, take a break and come back to it later. Step 3. With these things in mind, make an art piece inspired by them using a reference. But don't spend any longer than 15 minutes. This is just to give you an idea as to what works and what doesn't. Sometimes it might only take a few minutes to gauge how well a drawing is going to come out, but don't let that put you off. Just set yourself a timer and push through. Once you're done, don't stare at it for too long. Just put it away for now and we'll come back to it later. Now, it's time to flip it, using the same reference image as before. Pick three things that you don't like, and then draw some more. For me, this was the most important part of the process because it made me reevaluate what I liked and didn't like in art. Sometimes you need to combine the things that you do like and the things you don't to inspire something that you love. Okay, it's time to compare them with fresh eyes. Put your two drawings side by side and ask yourself what you think. But this time, pick at least three different positives from each. Don't spend any more than 30 seconds. Alright, now put them away and don't look at them. Create one final drawing with all the things that you do like from your new list. Again, don't spend more than 15 minutes. Once you're done, ask yourself the same questions again and make your new list. And just keep doing this until you're at least 90% happy with the finished drawing. If one of the biggest things holding you back from finding your art style is perfectionism, think about it this way. Aiming for 100% in anything will mean that there is no room to grow and improve. If you're worried about not improving fast enough, change the word improvement to evolution. Art allows you to express yourself using your pen as a vessel, so there isn't really an endgame unless you're studying technical art. If your art allows you to express yourself, then you're doing just fine. 
And if you saw my critiques of my most recent artworks, I still don't think they're 100% perfect and that's okay. If you keep aiming for 100%, you'll get lost in all the unnecessary small details and you'll lose sight of the bigger picture. Don't be too hard on yourself and just push through. If you're serious about wanting to find your style, all the hard work that you're doing right now will pay off, I promise. Experiment with new styles, even if they're completely different to what you usually draw, and review each one. Critique, don't criticise. Criticising is when you give feedback with judgement. Critiques, however, is feedback with solutions. So, if something didn't work, break it down into smaller pieces and ask yourself why. Was it the brush that you used? Was the reference too complicated? Did you rush it because you didn't know how to execute something? Take all these points and try to evolve it for the next drawing, and the next, and the next. And if that's too overwhelming, try and change just one thing with each drawing. If you want a deeper look into how I created this, check out my process in the link above. Embrace your mistakes, because making mistakes is the best part of making art. It will help you to understand what works and what doesn't. It's also a faster way to improve your art style without even realising it. Unless you are a stylized or realistic artist, there are no actual rules, or at least there aren't as many. If you want to shade in the colour purple, do it. If you want your characters to have incredibly long noodle arms, do it. Everyone else does, so why can't you? Don't listen to TikTok art rules because what might work for their art might not work for yours. I spent way too many years trying to make my art as realistic as possible until I realised that perfectionism isn't everything. Don't criticise and just do your best with what you've got. Try to avoid deleting or throwing your old drawings away. Weeks, months, years from now when you're ready for a progress check, you'll need them to see how you've evolved as an artist. Set yourself goals to keep track of your progress. The smaller the goals, the more manageable they are. Avoid setting goals like, I want to draw better because that's not exactly helpful. Explain what you want to do and how you're going to get it. For example, I want to draw better by doing the following. This could include practicing sketching for at least an hour a week or follow a step-by-step -step guide in the breakdown of anatomy at least twice a week. There is no right or wrong way to find your art style. It's all about finding out what works for you. For me, using a process of elimination, something just so simple, help me to break things down into smaller pieces and allow me to visualize my goals and see my destination a little bit clearer. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments and hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I release my next videos. Thanks for watching.